Hello everybody, I hope you are all well. Today we're going to do some healing on the couch and also down the screen with crystals and all of the chakras and the, the transpersonal ones, the ones below you and above you. So without further ado, I would like you to get yourself nice and comfortable, either feet on the floor or sitting yogi style or even lying in your bed. Just try and make your body symmetrical. And first of all, I'm going to give you these false egg cowrie shells to hold and put these cavities at your hands like that so that they draw any stale chi down your arms there. Okay, so give you those. And then before we start, we are going to place the chakra stones on and we're gonna start with this black tourmaline. And just feel that grounding you in. We'll draw it all the way down the screen and down and I want you just to feel yourself getting heavier and heavier as I move down your body and below your feet, down to the Earth Stella Gateway. And we'll just pop that at the bottom there and breathe out, starting to feel heavier and heavier and then for the next chakra that is below your feet this shungite cube so again drawing that down your body and start to feel the weight and the cleansing of it as you get heavier and heavier and heavier and this will be the Earth Star. So that is probably a good meter below your feet. And we shall just kind of tie you into that. So imagine your feet have strings from the bottom and we're just tying them in around that energy center. And then we're going to move to the root chakra and we're going to use this beautiful carnelian and we draw that all the way down your body starting to feel it root into you feeling heavier at the bottom of your spine and absorbing that red color if you can hear noise, it is the garbage men. So we'll be gone in a minute. And we're just gonna place that now at the root of your spine. So just imagine that that is somewhere below your perineum. And absorbing those beautiful red colors into your body. And now we'll move to the sacral chakra and this is Atlas Jasper and it has come from Morocco from the Atlas Mountain. And again drawing that down the body all the way down your chakra line or the Hara line or if you work with Tai Chi, Tai Chi Chuan it would be the Tai Chi pole, just drawing that down the line just to rest about three fingers width below your belly button. And then we're going to move to a, a lesser known one. And this is at the navel. And this is goldstone, very beautiful. And we draw that all the way down your line 
and your body just to rest at the navel there. And now this orange calcite is going to rest at your solar plexus. So bringing that all the way down to the bottom of your rib cage and resting that there on you. And then we're going to move to the heart center, the lower heart chakra. And this is green moonstone, very gentle. I kind of imagine Kuan Yin's color as this color, the, the Eastern goddess. So drawing that all the way down just to rest at the heart center. And then for the higher heart center, we have this beautiful cherry agate. And this will bring happiness and help work on your inner child. So this is just going to rest at the higher heart, which is in between the heart and the throat. And then we have this Caribbean calcite for the throat center. And I'll just draw that down and rest it at the throat. And I'm going to place this vertically so that it's there and also at the clavicle. Okay. Now the third eye and here we have some labradorite and I'm not sure if I say that correctly and the Inuits do believe that these are the northern lights trapped in the earth so this is going to go at your third eye And then we're going to have a clear quartz at your, look at that beautiful rainbow catching the light there. And this is at your crown. Just imagine that color filtering through into your crown as it rests on the top of your head. And then we start moving to these lesser known ones. So we then have a causal chakra, which is probably about there on you. And we are going to use this celestite. And we're going to just place that offline behind your head. Probably about a foot behind you. And then we will move up to the soul star. And we've got this beautiful angel aura quartz. Just look at the colors in that. Really high celestial vibration. And we shall place this above the crown and in between the causal. And finally, the last energy center that we're gonna work on with you, the stellar gateway. And this is about a foot and a half two foot above your head, spinning and it's where you collect your messages. So I'm just going to place that on you and you've got a whole line of beautiful, beautiful stones. I'm just going to move this back a little bit so that we can see. Okay, you can't see all of them, but you can see most of so just rest there and start to feel the energy of the crystals working in to you. And I'm going to place a hand on your shoulder now. And we have rooted already with the Shungite 
and the um, the black tourmaline at the bottom but just grow those roots out of you again if you're feeling a bit lofty and grow them down into the ground below you they'll find the quickest route to root you into these crystal and mineral pools you can imagine them reaching down into these crystal pools and absorbing the energy up and that energy moves up through your root system and into your body and filters out into your aura and then i just like you to imagine that perhaps angel wings are enfolding you and if you're not really aligned to the energy of angels just imagine my oceanic dragon who is always flying around using his oceanic reiki breath to create a bubble of energy around you to cleanse and clear it kind of like works like the violet flame energy and breathe out for me okay and as you're lying there i'm just going to remind you that you have these shells and they are draining the energy down and i want you to just don't don't go into the thought but just all of those annoyances and little niggles that have got to you over the last week drain them out of your arms and down into these shells here okay they have a suction action and they will help draw that out of you and now i'm going to draw the daikumyo, the master symbol, into you. Daikumyo. Daikumyo. And I'm pushing that in now, and that is the Tibetan master symbol, the non-traditional. And we've just filtered that in above your stellar gateway, and now drawing it all the way down through these energy centers. And all the way out. Okay. And then the distance healing symbol, Honsha Zhe Sha N. Honsha Zhe Sha N. Honsha Zhe Sha N. Drawing that down now as well, all the way through these chakras. And I'm particularly paying attention and asking that it help with your karmic debt especially in these upper transpersonal energy centers. You do have some minor ones just there below your ears, but also this causal chakra, okay? And the throat center, that is also a past life. I mean, obviously it goes through the body, but there are some chakras more than others aligned to it now. Okay. Let's just brush down with the selenite. So let's just brush down and just feel the tingles as this moves down your body. And we're just brushing gently anything that is not yours. All of those annoyances that I just talked about the things that infuriate you, the things that frustrate you, the things that you find difficult, and just put out of your mind that it is too difficult because you can do it. Anyone who annoyed you, any words that hurt you, but also any words that you have said that has hurt someone else. Let's just brush that off you. Just mentally perhaps ask for a bit of forgiveness for it. Just put it out there. I'm sorry I said that because the universe will heal that and hear that. Okay. 
All right, so we're also going to use this wonderful pyramid that I have, this clear quartz pyramid. And we're going to use this just to spiral down the body. And I'm particularly paying attention to this part here. I personally think if you would stand at the bottom of that, it would be the most powerful place. I'm just going to hold it above the camera here. Just feel that above your head now. And you may feel that you're moving up, okay? So we're going to start spiraling it down. And I'm going in an anti-clockwise manner. I hope it appears that way on the screen. If not, forgive me. And just let it draw out any of that stuck chi, anything holding you back. The lethargy that we're all feeling now because we are stuck in our homes. Moving over the causal now at the back of your head. And then just spiraling and drawing the energy all the way down these chakra lines and I just need two hands with this down now at the roots just drawing out any impurities any pain any illness any worry we're all worried at the moment aren't we? We're worried for our friends, our families, our parents, our children. And we're going to do this three times. Let's take that worry and anxiety away up to the heavens for the guides to deal with it. They'll take it off planet and they will change it into positive energy, perhaps using the violet fire or other means at their disposal. There are other coloured flames. There are blue flames, red flames. You can make any flame you like. And of course, my ethereal dragon is cleansing as we go because that is his job. Okay. And one last time. Holding it above you and circling, looking at that apex point and drawing that in and pushing out the last residue of what you don't need. Okay, and this is a real kind of new age chakra healing. We've got all of the new celestial ones they're called, or transpersonal ones, the ones that aren't in every single book. But I do feel that as the earth rises and ascends, that we do need to start working on these, and I have been told this by other people's guides, actually. Okay, so now we need to just use this pyramid. We turn it round, and... We invite it to draw energy through it and into you to replace the chi that we took out. So I'm just holding that above your heads and spiraling it down. And I need to go the other way actually, so I'm going to start again. And... It's now bringing energy into the stellar gateway, the soul star, the causal, the crown, the third eye, the throat, the higher heart, lower heart the solar plexus, the navel, the sacral, the root, and just spiraling the energy down the legs and out of the feet and down to the earth star, probably a meter below you and then even further than that, 
the Earth Stellar Gateway. And we're going to do this four times because we just want to make sure we are replacing the chi that we just took out of you. And there's a few rainbows in that that you may be able to see. And again, drawing it down past the stellar gateway, the soul star, causal, the crown, third eye, throat, heart, higher heart, heart, solar plexus, sacral, root, and the earth star, and the earth stellar gateway. A third time, spiralling the energy into you as you watch, but also as this corresponds to your body. Stellar gateway, the soul star, the causal, the crown, third eye, throat, higher heart, lower heart, solar plexus, navel, sacral, root, earth star and earth stellar gateway and then for a last one just to make sure we've filled all of the gaps, just holding the pyramid above your head, spiraling that energy in. And down to the chakra stones, the stellar gateway, the soul star, the causal, the crown, the third eye, the throat, the higher heart, the lower heart, the solar plexus, the navel, the sacral, and the root, spiraling down and out of the feet and down below the body to the earth star and the earth gateway. Okay, and I'm just now going to seal that in with the base of this and I'm actually going to run it up the body and I'm really holding the base flat and low and just feel that sealing in that healing. Breathe out for me. And just be at peace. And remember your roots are feeding into these crystal veins in the inner earth. And I am now just going to place my hands on your shoulders. And I'm going to draw the chokere symbol. Just to imprint that. And make sure it activates. And I'm just going to leave that there. And if you wish to lie there and let this filter through your aura, it will carry on working through you for the next day. And I wish you peace, healing and tranquility. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.